go to the University of Iowa, majoring in psychology. My name is Rachel Vickery, and I also go to the University of Iowa and major in psychology. Thank you. <laughs> Let's hear from team two. My name is Rita Wormanski. I also attend the University of Iowa, and I am studying psychology. No, you were original. <laughs> you were original. <laughs> I'm Terry Cunningham. I have never attended the University of Iowa. <laughs> Are you studying psychology? <laughs> I did in another life <laughs> All right. in Minnesota. All right. Well, that's it for our introductions. Let's start the game. Questions in rounds one and two are worth 10 points each. Questions in the third round, the Iowa round, are worth 20 points each. Ready? OK. <laughs> All right. Team one. PATV broadcasts what? Music show hosted by Tom Nothnagel. Tom's Guitar Show. Okay. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Occasionally, PATV will broadcast a game show from Uptown Bills. Name the show. The smartest style. Whoa. Woo! Okay. <laughs> the word bicycle comes from the Greek word kyklos, meaning wheel, and by. Meaning what? Two. Very good. <laughs> Whoa. The word triathlon comes from the Greek words athlon, meaning contest, and tri, meaning? Three. Whoa. <laughs> the Empire of Japan bombed what Hawaiian base on December 7th, 1941? Pearl Harbor. In unison. <laughs> <laughs> you got to the United States bombed what Japanese city along with Nagasaki in August of 1945, prompting Japan to surrender? Hiroshima. All right. Very good. Very good. Both teams. Plants use photosynthesis to create food energy out of what? Again, uh, plants uh, use photosynthesis to create food energy out of what? Plants can't live without it. Uh, Sun? Oxygen. Mm. Uh, let's see. Soil? <laughs> We're out. All right, the correct answer is light. Oh my god! Come on! <laughs> Respiration is what animals use to intake what element into the body? Oxygen. Oxygen. Very good. Whatever. I can do All right. Back over here again. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus, and the seven habits of highly effective people are both best selling books. We happen to have both of them right here now. <laughs> and they're considered part of what nonfiction genre? Well, I know who it's written by, The Seven <laughs> Habits by Stephen Covey. Um, I mean, technically, you have an interpersonal effect in this, so I don't know. You're getting uh, lots of prompting from the audience. You might look at their lips. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. They're, they're concerned about you. I mean, it would be psychology, but... That's partly, partly so. Uh, and what kind of psychology is this called? Positive psychology? Uh, Self-help is what oh, they're looking okay. for. Uh, we'll talk to the people yeah. who wrote that question after the show. <laughs> the, the Lord of the Rings and A Game of Thrones don't look are both best-selling book series considered what part of fiction? What genre of fiction? Again, The Lord of the Rings and The Game of Thrones are considered what part, of what kind of fiction, what genre of fiction? I think fantasy. Yes, you got it! Yeah. Oh, okay. You need to pull it out. Mugadu, Buddy, and... Ricky Bobby are all, all film characters played by what comedian? 
Will Ferrell? Yes, very good. Oh. Charlie McKenzie, Wayne Campbell, and Dr. Evil are all film characters played by what other comedian? Michael Myers. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday was the 59th birthday of what actor who played Barry Morrow in the TV movie Bill? We're watching oh. it tomorrow. <laughs> Picture right behind you. Is it Dennis Quaid? Yes. Oh, yay! Dennis Quaid. Yes, very good. Okay. Yesterday was the 23rd birthday of what actress who played Bella Swan in the Twilight film series? Kristen Stewart. Yeah. I'm embarrassed that I know that. I wasn't that yeah. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen them all? I will neither confirm, confirm or deny that. I don't okay. <laughs> well, yeah, if you haven't seen the last one, I'm looking for someone to go see see it with. So. Well, I've seen that. All right. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks to innovations in home use. We're back to you, Team One. Time Magazine named what machine Person of the Year in 1982? What? Machine was named Person of the Year by Time Magazine in 1982. <laughs> Wasn't the typewriter? No. A uh, computer? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Very good. You got it. Very good. All right. Are they doing those lips things again out there? In the no. Auto? <laughs> I All right. wasn't looking at it. Thanks to a video sharing website, Time Magazine named what pronoun Person of the Year? in 2006. Thanks mostly to a video sharing website. Time Magazine named what pronoun person of the year in 2006? YouTube? Yeah. You. Yes, you. Adapted from a Shel Silverstein, Silverstein poem, Johnny Cash once lamented about a boy with an unfortunate name. Hmm? Um. Shel Silverstein poem. Johnny Cash, the singer, once lamented about a boy with what unfortunate name? This was before they were born. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's also the name of a dinosaur. Barney? Oh. <laughs> Is that it? What? Said Barney? <laughs> 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 Sue, Sue, one of the first popular songs to deal with child abuse. That seems like an oxymoron to me. <laughs> Suzanne Vega once told the story of a boy with what Slavic name? Hmm. Suzanne Vega wrote a song about child abuse and the story of a boy with a Slavic name. It's also the name of an, first name of another singer. Nick is the only thing I can think of. Nick? How Slavic is that? Nika. <laughs> oh, Nika. Luca. Uh, Luca. All right. Um, I hope someone is keeping score somewhere in this vast uh, thing. Okay. Following the success of Scooby Doo, whoa, Hanna Barbera produced 16 episodes of another cartoon starring the title sputtering car and his racing buddies who solve mysteries. Mm. What? Short-lived. Mm. A cartoon mm. with a title sputtering car. Well, the sputtering car is the title guy and his racing buddies. Nope, that's not the answer. Uh, <laughs> okay, just, time apparently just is went up. by. No. <laughs> While they're thinking about it, we've had a, a wonderful comedian here who talks about Scooby Doo and says, uh, you, "You can't do things like that. I mean, they, they aren't old enough to drive. They drive all over the world, and in addition, they break into people's houses and live there. What kind of what kind of children show is that?" Yeah, that's good. 
You got Would it be Herbie? Oh, that's it. I like that. But it's Speed Buggy. Oh, okay. <laughs> we had no idea. After Speed Buggy, <laughs> Hanna-Barbera produced 16 episodes of another cartoon series with a curly-esque shark and his musical buddies who solve mysteries. This one's on you. Somebody's really gone into the Fred. obscure barrel with Fred, with uh, <laughs> Hanna Barbera here. Jabber, Jabberjaw. <laughs> that, all right, that's it for round one. Now it's time for you, the viewers, to get in on the action. Call PATV at 319 338 8456. If you know the answer to this question, what U.S. president gave Bill Sachter an award in 1979? I know, what I know. U.S. president gave Bill Sachter an award in 1979? We'll be right back with the smartest Iowan on PATV, channel 18 in Iowa City. Welcome back to the Smartest Iowan. Uh, the answer, can we give the answer now? We won't tell them yet, all right. We're not gonna get the answer yet. We are ready to start round two. Now, teams, Do we get you have score? a marker board behind you. You'll grab that, round two begins now. Okay. Our first question, second to Joanna's, Johanna's. Which Latin name has been used by the most popes in history? The possibilities are A, Benedictus, two, Gregorius, C, absolutely fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, turn your boards around and let's see what we've got. Chose Benedictus here and we chose Benedictus there. Uh, the correct answer is Gregorius. Oh, dang. <laughs> well, please stay <laughs> um, All right, here's the next one. Which of the following best describes the onomatopoeia of a rim shot? No kidding. When do you see that word in a quiz show? All right. The onomatopoeia of a rim shot. A, badum tish. B, riff. C, surma. A, badum tish. B, riff. Or C, surma. Are we ready? No. A is the correct answer. Onomatopoeia, of course, is the verbalization of a sound <laughs> like um, drip, sounds like, or the mini ha ha falls. Oh, yeah. Sounds like it, sounds like a laughing water. Uh, C is an anagram, and B pertains to guitars, a riff. All right, number three, born with cerebral palsy, Josh Blue won what NBC reality show competition? A, America's Got Talent, B, Last Comic Standing, or C, The Voice. Josh Blue. Josh Blue, A, America's Got Talent, B, Last Comic Standing, or C, The Voice. Are we ready? Okay, the correct answer is B. Last <laughs> comic standing. We don't watch reality. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm not enough, anyway. We should have a little picture coming up now for us. 
which letter in this picture of the Great Lakes represents Lake Huron? Which letter represents Lake Huron? Okay. A, B, C, D, or E? Which one is Lake Huron? The correct answer is C. Woo! Yeah. Team one got that. <laughs> Team two did not. Yeah. Yes. Okay, we're gonna hear a little uh, little audio here. And every member of the United Nations, great and small, has had the opportunity of stating its opinion on important questions in which it was vitally interested. May I, in conclusion, express the hope that when we meet again, we shall be equally successful, and that we shall see uh, quite clearly then how great has been the achievement of these meetings. All right, name the former United Kingdom Prime Minister who was speaking there. Is it A, Clement Attlee, B, Neville Chamberlain, or C, Winston Churchill? Clement Attlee, A, Neville Chamberlain, B, or Winston Churchill, C. All right, what have we got? The correct answer is A. No. Clement Attlee. All right. Okay, we want to, next we're going to spell a word, spell the following synonym of celebration. Conviviality. Conviviality. Okay, your answer please. C O N. C O N V I V I A L I T Y. Conviviality. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. 100 people show up for Bill Sachter's 100th birthday party. Half of them eat one cookie. Half of them eat two cookies. Half the remaining guests eat two cookies. The square root of those left eat three cookies. And the rest don't want all those calories. How many cookies are eaten in total? Half of them eat one cookie. Half of, them eat, half of the remaining guests eat two cookies. And the square root of those left eat three cookies each. A wild guess. The remaining guests, so Quickly. All right. Uh, let's see what we got here. We have uh, from team two, we have the number five. And from team one, we have. The correct answer is 115. Draw the instrument Bill Sactor was known for playing. Draw the instrument Bill Sactor was known for playing. Draw the nice. Okay, looks like uh, we're both going to get this one. It's, <laughs> of course, the harmonica. Oh. Harmonica. Oh, mine totally is better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then we have the winner's question from last week. Should be coming up. Watch carefully. <laughs> Hello everybody, we are Team AMC Press. We are last week's winners on The Smartest Iowan, and here is your winner question. What two classic Star Trek species made un unnamed appearances on Enterprise? Borg and Ferengi, Klingon and Romulan, or Wookiees and Twi'leks? All right, uh, we got B here. What did you choose? B. B also, uh, the correct answer is, they didn't tell me. A is the correct answer. What? Okay. What? It's totally. All right. Uh, next, we're going to see a little film totally clip. Ordinary. We want you to name the name of this Oscar winning film. Raymond, Raymond! You never, never touch 
a steering wheel when I'm driving. Do you hear me? Yeah. Do you hear me? Of course, I don't have my underwear. What? I'm definitely not wearing my underwear. What are you talking about? I gave you a fresh pair of mine this morning, not my underwear. Okay, it looks like we've got I told it. You to go in the, the bathroom. Film is. Come on, where are they? Of course, they're in the Turn around. We both have the correct answer. Rain Man. Uh, also from uh, Barry Morrow, who will be in town here on Friday in Iowa City. That's all for round two. Let's take a short break, and we'll be back with a special Iowa round of the smartest Iowan. We're back. Teams, it's time for the Double Point Iowa Round. This time, the Iowa Round is all about the man of the week, the late Bill Sactor. Ready to test your knowledge about the great man? Let's start. Bill Sactor was born in what month? April? Yes. Yep. Oh, yeah, April. <laughs> wow. Bill would have been how old on April 13th? 100. Yes, 100. Which actor won an Emmy Award for his portrayal of Bill Sactor in the TV movie Bill? Pictured right behind us? Mickey Rooney. Yes, Mickey Rooney. Oh, awesome. What, <laughs> what sequel to Bill premiered on in November 1983? Bill on his own. Bill on his own. Good. What University of Iowa building houses Wild Bill's Coffee Shop? North Hall. What, <laughs> what nonprofit media center can be found in the same building as Uptown Bill's? Public Access oh. Television. Very good. Tom, Professor Tom Walls wrote what biographical book about Bill Sactor? Um, the, Bill? <laughs> the unlikely celebrity. Uh, Filmmaker Lane Wyrick created a um, documentary, a biographical documentary about the life of Bill, and its title is? A friend in Need. A friend indeed. A friend indeed. Very good. Founded in 1997, what is the name of the nonprofit organization which oversees Uptown Bills? Close, close. Uh, Ex no extend the dream, yes. and <laughs> they will uh, know this. Part of Extend the Dreams Foundation work is the e-commerce center, which trains individuals with disabilities to buy and sell items primarily on what internet auction site? eBay. Very good. That's it, folks. Right. We'll take one more break, and then we'll come back to find out whose team has won the smartest <laughs> Iowan. Stick around. That's one big shirt. You can both squeeze in it, or if you have two of them, we'll go with a pair. Cut it in half. Yeah, let's see, I get the one half. Oh, my stomach hurts. I could that might or might not be related. Great. Great. That last rant by Bruce, that really inspired me. Of the Bruce J sex tape. So, Daniel, enjoy. Bill. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, right about now, we should see some scores come up on our screen. Find out which team. <gasps> oh, it went away. Wait. <gasps> that was your cue to keep talking. We're not that fast. <laughs> not that fast. <laughs> hey, um, incidentally, this is the week of uh, Bill Sactor Centennial. We have events all week. This is just one. Uh, we have events. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Thursday, um, we will have a, a spoken word and some special music after that. On Friday, Barry and Bev Mora will be coming from California. They will appear at 7 o'clock at uh, the Business School Auditorium, Papa John. And you can see them there along with some other people to reminisce about Bill. On Saturday, we have an all-day party with a different cake and a different band every hour starting at 10 a.m. So hope you'll join us for one or more of those events. All right, 
It looks like Team Two is the winner. Yeah. Yeah. With, um, with 220 points. How are you going to do this? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's so Don't cry. Last time we did this. What's wrong with this picture? You may, you, you may want to change those after the show. T-shirts are provided by uh, graphic. Yeah. By graphic design. Uh, congratulations to our winners. Thank you all for playing. We're delighted you could be with us. Thank you at home for watching our show. We'd like to thank our sponsors, again, Graphic Printing and Texas Roadhouse. If you'd like to be a contestant on The Smartest Iowan, Email us at smartestiowan at gmail.com. On behalf of PATV and Uptown Bills, I'm Tom Gilsonen. Good night. Thank you.